What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> First, you're gonna wanna start off by drinking really, really cold water, whether it be ice water, refrigerated water, whatever it is, just drink lots of water, kids. Eat your vegetables, eat your fruits to keep your skin nice and clear. Obviously, as you can see, my skin is not, it, it's, it's the opposite of clear. I recently switched on over to eating vegan again. Um, I am not living a complete vegan lifestyle. And when I say that, I mean that I am still using makeup products that are still being tested on animals. Um, I know that sucks. I'm going on my third week um, the day after tomorrow and my skin is currently going through a little detox so that is why I have a few breakouts going on. I feel great about eating vegan. I feel much more energized and I feel like my skin does look a little bit more glowy even though I do have a breakout going on. So I am first going to start off by prepping my skin. Um, no, first I'm going to go in by prepping my lips with the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. This is a conditioning lip treatment. Treatment. <laughs> this is a conditioning lip treatment. And I am running low on this, but good thing I got two of these when I went to Gym Beauty in San Francisco last year. So, excited about that. I'm going to go in and start to prime my face. I'm first going to go in with the Urban Decay Deslick Complexion Primer. I used this in my last makeup tutorial and I just am really enjoying this. And just like before, get a really, really small amount and apply that just to my nose to keep it nice and matte and oil free. And then for today, because it is my summer makeup routine, I do like to go in with the Milani Prime Light Face Priming. Primer. This is their strobing and a pore minimizing one. It is also oil free, which is why I really, really like this one. I like to take a really nice, generous amount of that and just apply that to my high points of my face. She's eating right now. To the high points of my face including my forehead and the tops of my cheeks as well as press that on into the center of my face. So for foundation today I'm going to go in and use the MAC Next to Nothing face color in the shade Medium Plus. Now I know this is something that a lot of oily people will not like for the summertime because this is not very oily person friendly. This is going to look very I don't want to say greasy on the face, but this is going to be greasy on the face if you don't go in and set it or blot throughout the day. So whenever I do wear this, I do like to blot throughout the day. Whenever I do this makeup routine, I am usually at work, running errands, I'm sitting at home editing, um, just really quick out the door and then coming back home because this is something that I do not want to like be at a party for a long period of time because I know that I will look like a mess. This is very, very runny on your hand if you have this, so I like to not waste any time with this. This was the brush that came out with the Next to Nothing Face Color, and I'm just going to go into the product like so, and then start from the middle of my face and work outwards. This is not going to give me super full coverage, which is why I like this product. When it is the summertime, I do not like anything super high full coverage um, because I will honestly be mad throughout the day because I know that my makeup is just going to come off because not only am I oily, but I do sweat throughout the day on my forehead. So this 
kind of tinted moisturizer if you will is really really good for me but this is my face just after one layer of the next to nothing face color by MAC I really really like the way my skin looks it looks really healthy and hydrated however I do want to kind of conceal a little bit on my blemishes because they are looking crazy I don't do this if I don't have blemishes but because my skin is kind of going through something right now I am just going to go in with the Jouer matte moisture tint in the shade hazel and just press that onto any blemishes that I have and like I said I don't do this every time I wear this I'm just doing this because today I do have um, some blemishes on my face for my everyday summer makeup routine, I don't go in with the Tarte Shape Tape to conceal my under eyes. Shocker, right? <laughs> I like to actually go in, and you guys are probably going to be like, what? But I like to go in with the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer or the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I know when I did videos on both of these concealers, they did not get the best rating from me, but I found that because these are not super duper full coverage, that they are so good for light makeup days. So that is why I like using them. Today, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer and just apply some of that underneath both of my eyes. I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. To set my entire face, including my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the MAC Next to Nothing Powder. And this is also in the shade Medium Plus. And I'm taking an e.l.f. I believe this is a powder brush. It's like the flat brush. And I'm just going to press that on into my skin. And it just takes away all of the shine that I just had. It's such a nice powder. It's so finely milled. I just, I really, really like this powder. It's so, so good. And because I want my under eyes to be a little bit more brighter, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I am going to take the two shades, Lucid and Lyric, which is the yellow shade and then the peach shade. And I'm still taking that e.l.f. powder brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes. For bronzer today, I'm going to go in with the Bia Bombshell Baked Bronzer in Heat Wave. And I am just going to apply a very, very generous amount of that onto the hollows of my cheeks and just pretty much the perimeter of my entire face. I'm not going in with a matte bronzer today just because I want my skin to look really, really healthy. That's something that I always, always want my skin to look like in the summertime. This bronzer has a little bit of a sheen and I like it. For highlight today, I recently went back to this beauty. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in <laughs> Gilded Honey. And I recently just went back to this and I don't know why I stopped. I think I say that every time I stop using this, but it's just, it's so beautiful. So for eyes today, I just like to go in with the concealer that I used or just a concealer that's near me. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I just like to use that as a base to conceal my veins on my eyelids and I just like to use my finger to blend all of that out. For my eyeshadow, I just like to go in and set it and then put something into the crease. I'm going to take my shade and light palette from Kat Von D and I am first going to set my base using the shade Lucid, which is this peachy shade right here. 
and I just like to apply that all over. It doesn't have to be neat or anything. Just ensuring that I don't get any creasage later on in the day. Is creasage even a word? I don't know. I, I really don't know. So just patting that down onto my lid. And then with that same ColourPop brush, I'm going to go into Shadow Play, which is the middle contour shade here. And I'm going to take that on the very tip of the brush, like so. Tap off the excess and then just pop that into the crease. And just sweep that back and forth to define the eye a little bit. And then blend it out. To finish up the shadows on the eyes, I'm going to take that same ColourPop eyeshadow and the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Illuminator and apply that onto my brow bone and then just blend it out so it doesn't look harsh. Now I'm going to go in and curl my eyelashes to prep them for falsies. You do not have to wear falsies if you end up doing a routine similar to this, but because I'm not really doing anything, um, I am going to pop on some eyelashes. If you have a couple more minutes, you know, when getting ready and you have time to put on falsies, put on falsies, but if you don't, this look is perfectly fine with just a few coats of mascara. I have worn this look with and without lashes, and it looks good both ways. So I'm just going to apply one coat of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and prep these bad boys. The lashes that I'm going to be putting on are by Salon Perfect, and they are the Demi Wispies. I got this pack from Walmart, and they are considered a customer favorite. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to pop those on, and then I will be right back. As my eyelashes are drying, we are going to finish up this look with the lips. So, whenever I do this look, I like to just wear lip gloss. I feel like it just looks really youthful and pretty and not too much, if you know what I mean. So, I've lately been going in with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tress Leches and the NYX Butter Gloss in Cream Brulee. First, I'm going to apply the Intense Butter Gloss all over my lips. And you could use a lip liner if you want to. I don't. It's totally up to you. And then I like to apply a little bit of the regular butter gloss in creme brulee. Just a little bit in the center. And then that's pretty much it. So that is it for this everyday summer makeup routine. If you guys enjoy this video and cannot get enough of me, then please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up, letting me know that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial slash makeup routine. <laughs> also leave a comment down below letting me know what do you guys like to wear on a everyday basis for the summertime and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter so we could become a best of friends. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out. <laughs>